Hello guys, I'm here to basically make a video on the stuff that I embarked recently that I was not able to make a video on because I just did not have the time or the release date may have passed on me from not having a considerable enough of time to make videos about the stuff that I recently bought. It's not very much stuff, but uh, it's stuff that I recently uh, picked up. And like I said, I have not been able to buy too many things because Nothing has really came out that I wanted to buy uh, recently. But um, the first thing I bought was the gold uh, shovel knight. I picked him up at uh, it was either Best Buy or GameStop. But yeah, this is the gold shovel knight. He looks, you know, pretty gold. I don't plan on opening him because, like I said, I don't open any of my uh, um, amiibos, which is kind of crazy, but I never... Like I said, I'll be that person that never probably find out how Amiibo actually works because I never actually opened up a Amiibo and used one whatsoever. So yeah, I just kind of keep them in the boxes. Here is my um, gold shovel knight. It's going to just sit on my uh, display shelf. That's where he's going. But um, yeah, gold shovel knight. Recent pickup. Um, other thing I picked up on Valentine's Day last month was Darksiders Genesis. Um, you know, published THQ Nordic. Um, to me, this is the best Darksiders. I like it better than Darksiders 1. Darksiders 2, as far as the ones I played on the Switch 1 and 2. Um, to me, this one is the best one. You know, it's in that top down, um, Diablo style. Darksiders and Diablo had a child, it would be this game. To me, this game is. Fantastic, it's a great game. And you can play as two different characters. You basically play as War, War is the Swordsman, and I believe Strife, he's the uh, dude with the two uh, pistols there. But um, yeah, this is a great game. It's better than the other Darksiders. If they can, when they continue the series of other games, they probably should make them in a Diablo type style or like in this style of the Genesis, which is a pre, um, you know, pre Darksiders one. So yeah, pre prequel, that's what it's called. But um, yeah, Dark Star Genesis is a game that I bought uh, recently that I've been playing um, much as I can, really. Um, another game I got recently was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, Rescue Team DX, a game I had no intentions on buying. I played the demo and that's what made me buy it. I never played it on the... Uh, what is it on a Game Boy Advance and a DS it was on? I never actually played that version of the red and the blue rescue team or whatever it was called. So this is my first experience with this one. And like I said, I played the demo and I was like, uh, I gotta go buy it. So I wind up uh, picking it up. This is a game I had no intentions on buying. Um, the inside of the box art is pretty cool. I love the inside of the box art. Brought different Pokemon on there, all the you know, first, um, I don't want to call them baby Pokemon, but, uh, you know, the first, um, evolutions or whatever. But, um, yeah, here's the, uh, game card for it. But, yeah, that is the other game that I picked up. And I guess I ain't been able to think of nothing else to pretty much buy, but, uh, yeah, that's the two games, and... The last thing I got to pick up, Nintendo finally had it in stock on the website, which I've been trying my hardest to get this, and always freaking missed out. They must have stocked up a hell of a bunch of them, because that's probably the only reason why I was able to get it. It is the Super NES um, Nintendo Online Controller, because like I said, I'm a subscriber to Nintendo Online, because I have to be, but um, yeah, Super NES controller it comes with the charge cable thing there and here's the controller and i just took it on um the controller the super nes controller something that i really 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 wanted really bad it feels just like a super nes controller and i have that one to go with this guy that i got for christmas well the two that I got for Christmas, but uh, yeah, now I have the regular NES and the Super NES. 
uh, controllers. Like, I can't wait for, like, in the future when they release, like, an N64 one. I'm probably going to lose my damn mind whenever that happens. Like, can't wait for that day to happen. Like, us getting, like, a big box with a giant, um, um, how about I say GameCube <laughs> with the N64 controller in a box. But, um, yeah, this is the last uh, pickup that I recently got. Um, yeah, so the next time I'll be uploading a video, which I can't wait for, is Friday for the Animal Crossing bundle. I pre ordered that guy and I will have him on Friday. I'm going to keep my OG Switch, I'm going to take it and put it, we'll leave it in the room downstairs, probably put my Animal Crossing one upstairs in my bedroom. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, yeah, I still have that Switch. And I still have my um, Pokemon, uh, what am I trying to say? Zacian Zamazenta. I probably said the name wrong. But um, yeah, this one, uh, what is that on the back of my? Yeah, and then I got a um, cover, like the little plastic cover by Hori to go over my, this is actually the demo of a, uh, uh, Mystery Dungeon, when I play the demo, that's what made me buy it. But uh, I got one of these hoary covers to go over my Switch light. So yeah, the next thing I'm, like I said, I'm making a video on is gonna be the Animal Crossing bundle, which comes out on Friday. I don't know if they're gonna give us like a 12 o'clock midnight release, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next video on Animal Crossing bundle, which I'm excited to get that. That's probably gonna become my main Switch. And like I said, my OG Switch, I'm probably gonna sit that aside somewhere and not use it as much um and then on the next following thursday whatever day the 20th is that's when animal crossing the actual game comes out i pre-ordered that i'm i have to get that guy on whatever day the 20th is i said the next following week and i bought me what else the gambit um Funko, which I gotta pick that up on the 20th too. That comes out on the same day, which is not a big deal. But um, yeah, that Switch, like I said, the Animal Crossing Switch, which that is something I'm super looking forward to. That is the Switch when I first seen that Switch, I pretty much was like, eh, that's it. I'm like, at first, I mean, I was like, I, that was like the one that I must, must have because like the Switch Lite, the Zacia and Zamazenta, some that I've just seen when I first seen it. My first thought was like, I must have that. The um, the Animal Crossing bundle, even though I'm not the biggest Animal Crossing fan in the world, I don't like it, but I'm not head over heels for like other people are going crazy over and whatnot. I mean, I like the game, I'm gonna play it, but am I gonna waste a bazillion hours into it? Probably not, because I just don't have the time to do that anymore. Like, I used to, when I was, like, a kid, I could play Animal Crossing nonstop and live, like, a separate life on there. I can't do that nowadays, so. But I am getting that bundle because it's just the most detailed bundle from the dock, the freaking Joy-Con straps. Everything is just so detailed on there. That's why I really wanted that one. The fact of the matter of, like, I never thought America would get one like that. That, to me... Japan always get like the cool bundles from the um, Disney um, uh, Sum Sumsuma or what is it called? Uh, Disney Sumsum bundle. Like I like that one. Wasn't able to get that one because it was released in Japan. I could have had it shipped over here, but that was just way too hard. But yeah, uh, yeah, that one in the uh, Dragon Quest Eleven bundle was like super detailed. Like so far, those two is Disney. Um, the Disney one and the Dragon Quest XI bundles by far were my favorite ones. So just wasn't released here in America. And now we have the Animal Crossing one, which is a super detailed one from every bit of it, minus the Joy-Con little grip controller thing. That's not detailed, but everything else is super detailed. So that's the thing that I'm most looking forward to is getting that animal crossing bundle and the game is secondary after the bundle but i really do want the bundle so i'm getting that on friday and the um 
most thing I'm hope I'm looking forward to is I hope that Nintendo releases some type of direct to tell us something that's coming out because we have no idea what's coming out. Everything says like spring 2020 or fall 2020. I can't think of nothing else like not like Xenoblade that remake it. We played that already, but I don't know what else is coming out for the Switch because we haven't got a direct and we need a direct to find out what we need to start pre-ordering at some point because I like to know ahead of time what I need to invest my money in as far as pre-ordering uh, games and whatnot. I wish I can get like Persona. Uh, I believe it's Persona Scrambled. I play like the, uh, you know, the demo version out there. Like, download it from the Japanese eShop. Everything is Japanese. I've been using like Google translator try to understand what they're actually saying reading off the google translator for um persona scramble so i wish i knew a release date for that because i would buy that if i actually had a release for it for release date for the american version i think it already came out in japan but or it may come out march 11th in japan it's coming out soon in japan i know that but uh yeah i just hope nintendo drops a direct sometime soon so we can find out what we need to buy i mean i need to know what i need to get my hands on and invest money into so yeah eventually they come out with one but um yeah that's pretty much it for this video for the stuff that i bought now i'm starting to ramble about things that i need to buy for um the uh switch and uh whatnot and oh another thing i might do i might get the coral switch light the pink one just because like i said i only have this um switch light now and like i said i gave my blue one my uh um the um the blue one that i had why am i messing with the neon not neon blue what the hell am i talking about the um my blue one, I gave it away to a kid for Christmas who really, like, deserved to have a Switch because she used to play mine a lot. But I um, I gave that one away for Christmas, so I only have this Switch, like, now. So next month, I'm thinking about getting that coral one just because it's the closest I can get to pink. And I always wanted, like, a pink uh, Switch or, like, just pink video game systems in general. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's the most recent stuff that I've heard. Like I said, I gotta end this video because I'm talking too much. But, um, yeah, next video I'm gonna upload is gonna be, um, the Animal Crossing bundle. And I'll probably have to put my face in the next video because, God forbid, I don't have any makeup on. I got out the shower, so that's why I didn't put my face in this actual video. <laughs> so, yeah, next video is gonna be on the Animal Crossing bundle. So, yeah, that's, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.